Well, the biggest misconception is people think they have a much larger capacity for simultaneous thought than, than they actually do. They think they're much better at multitasking than, than they are. Because of this brain's um, bottleneck, because of this inability to think about multiple things simultaneously, you're sort of sipping at the outside world through a straw. And you have this illusion that you understand more about what's going on around you because your brain integrates across time and puts things together into a big picture. But a lot of what your brain is doing this time, it's making predictions based on what just happened. So nothing's going to happen over there because I know nothing's over there right now. Now, that's not a big deal if, I, if I'm in a stable environment like this, but when you're trying to multitask, focus on different important streams of information, you often can miss things because your brain isn't a perfect predictor. And a great example of that is um, uh, driving and, and talking on the phone at the same time. You can focus on a conversation and you pretty much you've got, you can go hundreds of feet down the road without, ever, without actually seeing what's in front of you. And there's lots of videos, demonstrations of this, this blindness, inattentional blindness people have. Humans have a great ability to be flexible in their thought. They can change their, their, their line of thought from, from moment to moment, change their mind. But there's a cost to that. And there's it's something called switch cost. You have to, your cognitive apparatus in your brain has to reconfigure from one mode of thought to another. So whenever you switch from one to another, you, you cognitively stumble a little bit. You slow down, you get more error prone, you miss things as your brain sort of reconfigures to the new configuration. So you're literally focusing your, your limited consciousness, bandwidth of consciousness on, on the task at hand. Then when then something, email pops up or a cute cat video comes out, whatever, uh, you, you switch, you have to completely switch most of your conscious thoughts, all your attention to the other thing. And you're not really, the, the thing you were originally working on is sort of completely out of mind. You may think you're juggling these two things uh, uh, very effectively, but actually you're, you're not. You're just switching. You're not, you're not thinking about two tasks at once or usually doing two tasks at once. You're usually switching back and forth very rapidly with this illusion that you're keeping multiple balls in the air. But all that switching comes at a, comes at a cost. I'm guilty like everybody else. I have my my um, I have my Android tablet and I have my smartphone. I have my multiple screen computer. So it, it's a temptation. You get you get sucked into it, and it's hard. Everybody else is doing it, so it's hard to avoid it. And and the human mind is very you know curious. It wants to take in information. So you sort of try to maximize all the information input, when, and you think you're doing yourself well when actually it's you're, it's coming at, at at a cost. So. The way I get around it um, is I just uh, think ahead and I just plan. I try to work in a quiet environment. I try to remove distractions. I, I plan to be productive instead of, uh, um, instead of trying to be um, overly productive by multitasking. I plan to focus.